NXP has now released two active bridge rectifier controllers, TEA2206 and TEA2209, after the TEA2208 had been released as a core IC. These active bridge rectifier controllers replace the traditional diode bridge with a MOSFET rectifier. This helps you design power supplies with higher efficiency, good thermal performance, and smaller sizes. It is intended for any type of power supply that follows a boost-type power factor correction circuit. Let's dive deeper and compare the TEA2208 with the TEA2206 and the TEA2209. To start, the TEA2208 improves up to 1.4% efficiency with four low ohmic high voltage MOSFETs at 90 volt AC mains compared to the traditional diode bridge. Our SO14 package supports four gate drivers with two integrated high voltage level shifters. This allows all four rectifier MOSFETs to have a direct drive with very low external components. Just like the TEA2208, the TEA2209 also supports four gate drivers that improve up to 1.4% efficiency with four low ohmic high voltage MOSFET at 90 volt AC mains. However, the TEA2209 has two more pins with an SO16 package and COMP and COMP PAL, which disables the gate drivers using an external signal. The COMP pin can enable or disable all gate drivers using the two comp poles selection, GND or VCC. This allows for further improvement in low load efficiency and even lower no load standby power. The TEA2206 in an SO8 package supports two low side gate drivers for two low ohmic high voltage MOSFETs. High side rectifiers require two diode rectifiers. It improves up to 0.7% efficiency with two low ohmic high voltage MOSFETs at 90 volt AC mains compared to the traditional diode bridge. The small SO8 package and two low ohmic high voltage MOSFETs help your designs improve efficiency with a cost-effective system. The active bridge controller itself makes the operating supply voltage from the rectified output voltage run without external circuitry, which is called the self-supplying function. Even though the self-supplying function is always enabled, NXP technology does not increase the IC power consumption. Only 2 milliwatts is consumed. You can use active bridge controllers in applications that require low standby power consumption or require a high efficiency at low load. Power supplies are designed with X capacitors, which are connected between two AC mains lines to satisfy the electromagnetic interface requirement. For safety, after AC mains voltage is disconnected, the X capacitors are required to be discharged within a short time. The active bridge controllers implement X capacitor discharging function and discharge IC throughout the inside. This fulfills the X capacitor discharge safety requirement, IEC 63268, without an additional X capacitor controller or discharging resistors which create additional power loss. The Active Bridge Controller Evaluation Board is a small-sized, standalone design to replace the traditional diode bridge from your existing system. In addition, these boards pass the 5 kV system surge test with the TEA1916 240W NXP demo board. This result is the same as a test with a traditional diode bridge. You can easily obtain this high-efficiency improvement with NXP Active Bridge Controllers on your system. Get started with the NXP Active Bridge Controllers today by visiting nxp.com. Thanks for watching.